All right, hi, Gemini. This is going to be your situations. Reading, this is for Gemini placement, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Be sure to flip the script and choose the side of the story you are on. If you're someone cross-watching for Gemini, as in you're someone that's dealing with the Gemini, this could play out from your perspective, meaning a Gemini did this to you. All right, so let's see here. What does Gemini need to know? So we have crushed, sad, broken, feeling alone. So this could be how you're feeling, Gemini, or someone around you is feeling. Okay. Um, we also have cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. So a lot of you guys could be doing a lot of... I, I know as a, I've been fucking saging multiple times a day. I've... Yeah, I've just been doing a lot of smudging. But a lot of you guys could be clearing out negative um, energy, clearing out your space. We do have unconditional love here, genuine, certain love. All right. And what else? Let's get one more. So some of you guys could have gone through something now and you're trying to clear your energy from that situation, person, or place. And now we have um, Capricorn had got this card. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You can have Capricorn placements. Or you could be a Capricorn with Gemini placements. But we got gossip, petty, jealousy, and envy. So there could be a lot of gossip about you, which what, what is new. <laughs> you know, it's funny because people say Geminis like to gossip. But people gossip about us way more than we gossip about people. People come to us with gossip and we just feed off of it. Or we just, you know reply or whatever but yeah no people come to us with the fucking tea and the gossip but anyways interview talk conversation get on same page some of you guys could be going on an interview all right something could have been a timing factor i also feel like somebody here needs to confess something but or reveal something but they haven't yeah yeah somebody doesn't want something to come out some, something somebody doesn't want something to come to the light or some type of awareness or whatever but um yeah, mm. but yeah, some of you guys could be talking or you're going to have, there's going to be a conversation that's needed. This could be for work or whatever, but let's see what's crushed here for Gemini placement. So we got Ace of Pentacles here. So somebody could have, so, so somebody could be feeling sad. You know what's weird, Gemini? I feel like. Ace of Pentacles talks about a, this is like a big opportunity. This could be in regards to finance, your stability. This could be something new that you're getting that the universe wants to give to you. Like something that, sh that is yours, that you're, being gift that you're being gifted or given to. This could be your gifts. This could be something tangible. The Ace of Pentacles is usually something tangible, something that you can see and touch. Right? This could be a new home, a new car, a new job, a new creative idea that, that has the potential to grow into something big. But this is from this is a divine opportunity. Somebody may have saw you as a divine opportunity or this whatever or vice versa. And somebody's crushed, sad, feeling alone. Or I'm also getting that somebody or people around you could be sad about you getting this, whatever this Ace of Pentacles is. And you know, it's real funny because people... People are so used to Gemini's being discombobulated and all over the place. It's like when we finally get our life together, when you know, when we are able to balance that masculine and that feminine energy, because we are the lovers, where that we're naturally divine feminine and masculine all in one. All right. People just they it's like they feel away. It's like is this like what? Like it's just really weird. But anyways, what's this crush here? But you're getting something big or something is being handed to you or it's trying to be. This is something new. This could be an idea. This could be a multi-million dollar idea or just an idea period that's going to leave you feeling, that's going to have you feeling very, um, a, you know, stable, abundant. We have five of swords here in reverse. Somebody feels, yeah, I feel like you, de you, you defeated somebody in their own game or that's how they feel. This person, they played a lot of mind games with you. And, you know, because of this, they missed this opportunity with you. This person could have been really selfish. You could have been this person's wish fulfillment. They could have been really arrogant, cocky, closed off here. But, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys are also making yourselves happy. You're doing what makes you happy. You're filling up your own cups. Okay, so. But, yeah, five of swords here is accepting defeat, needing to forgive also, Gemini. So forgive this person. Forgive yourself. There could have been a lot of mind games. Somebody here could have been a, a, a mental and emotional bully. Yeah. 
I'm also getting some of you guys could be studying something here. This could be in regards to something that's creative. All right. You guys could be in school. Or, yeah. Yeah, your queen, you guys are coming up as the queen of wands. You can, you can manifest literally anything, Gemini. So also be careful about your thoughts and things because, yeah, you guys are going to be getting over something quick. Yeah, I also feel like there's something new that's going to be starting. Expect a flirty text some, from somebody, but they're still a liar and they're still childish and they're still selfish, greedy, money-hungry, vain, superficial, and shallow and materialistic. Yeah, it could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, okay? It could be um, an Aries, Pisces maybe, but... Let's see, what's this crushed here? Yeah, two of cups. This could have been somebody that you were in a connection with. I also feel like somebody's gonna be some some somebody here is gonna be sad and hurt when they see you in this new connection, this new relationship, this new partnership here. This could be with a past life soulmate or somebody from your past that you have history with, maybe somebody that you have kids with for some of you. There could be also a reconciliation. Maybe this, maybe there's going to be a new start between you and someone. But I don't know if you guys are going to want to take it. This person could have had you waiting too long. Or they could have made you feel ignored, rejected. Maybe you were just emotionally unhappy with this person. So it's like, why go back? Why repeat something? But let's see. It could be a separation or a breakup here. Crushed. Yeah, the death card. Something is over. Yeah, there could have been a tower moment between you and somebody. Death card, Scorpio energy. You can have Scorpio in your chart. You could be dealing with one. You got the uh, tower here, Mars. Somebody here could be a Mars and Aries or, or Mars and Aries, Taurus or Scorpio. I don't know. Tor I know Taurus is not the tower, but Taurus just spit up, just came out of my mouth. So somebody, so tower is Aries and uh, Scorpio energy, Mars energy. All right. <clears throat> yeah, there could have been a tower moment, but I just feel like there's going to be a reconciliation. But you need to be mindful because I feel like you moved away from this person for a reason and you and you took your power back. And this is what made this person upset, feel insecure. This person could be a control freak. Yeah, they could be gossiping and talking shit about you, Tor, um, Gemini. You could, you, some of you guys could be on a Taurus Gemini cusp where you could have Taurus placements. I just did Taurus's reading last night before I went to bed. It's kind of similar energy, almost. But somebody's gonna want to reconcile, but it's still gonna be one-sided. So you're, you're being you're being called to sail away and move away from that per just to not go back. Just don't. There's also this. It's, yeah, there's not gonna be any. Yeah, it's not gonna be peaceful. There's no peace with this person. What's this Ace of Pentacles? But I do see some of you guys have a new partnership that's coming in fairly quick too. It's like as soon as you break up with this person or walk away or let them leave you or however, whatever, you get something bigger and better. You get something better. Something that's more reciprocal. Somebody's going to give you reciprocity. All right. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Bless you, baby. This could be somebody that you're already friends with for some of you. Yeah, three of swords. I'm telling you, this is like reconciliation. This is um healing. For some of you guys, this could be repressed trauma. So just be careful with that, okay? Make sure that you're not holding on to anything. Somebody here could have also had you in a third-party situation. That could have been why they weren't really fully giving to you. Or this person could have just hurt you in some capacity while you were just trying to love them or something like that. You were giving this person more than reciprocity i just like they weren't giving that back but i feel like a lot of you guys you're, you're getting this offer that's coming in and it's going to help you guys heal from something this could be a new partnership a new friend it's going to even be a business a, a new job or business partner for some of you guys okay but whatever this ace of pentacles is it's going to help you heal and get over the past here let something i thought you guys are going to be getting over something fairly quick you guys also need to forgive so you can receive this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, whatever that is. What's this Three of Swords in reverse? Yeah, somebody was non-committal anyway. Three of Swords. Yeah, they were just superficial, shallow, vain, uh, living beyond their means. Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody could have had you like from sea. What's the three of swords? 
Yeah, Queen of Swords. So there could be a lot of repressed. So Geminis, be mindful of any repressed trauma. Three of Swords is Virgo, Libra, Cusp energy. Be mindful of any. Be mindful of. Uh, just forgive this person. Don't let this person get you bitter or whatever forget just forgive and let go you guys could be feeling sad you could be feeling broken or feeling alone this is how this person is feeling but yeah somebody could have went somebody could have offered somebody could be offering some somebody could be going back to somebody somebody could be going back to an ex of theirs this person is very mean bitchy very cold and it's part yeah this mm, it's like what you wanted this person to offer you, they could be going to give that back to somebody from their past. That's going to just mistreat them. This, for, Yeah. Let's just clean the sword in reverse for some of you. Yeah, three of cups. Yeah, somebody, yeah. Third party. Yeah, heavy third party energy. Somebody's reconciling with an ex or they have in some capacity. In some capacity they have. But also, this could be somebody wanting to reconcile with you. This can also be a friend that feels like you could have just cut them off. Some of you guys could be deciding to be someone's friend here, okay? But we'll see. What's this five of swords in reverse? But somebody's going to be uh, feeling crushed when they realize something about someone. Yeah, the moon card. A lot of somebody here played on your mental, your subconscious a lot. They could have also been doing things. Moon card is Cancerian energy. This person could have been keeping a lot of secrets. They could have been holding back here. This person was could have been sent to kind of block you in some... This person could have been like a blockage. Four of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. The Seven of Wands, I believe, is, um, is Leo energy. You're needing, to stand this, you're needing to stand your ground and not give this person nothing. This person could have been really stingy with their time, their money, their energy... Yeah, this person didn't treat you how you needed to be treated, Gemini. But what's the, yeah, the, a lot of secrets. Somebody playing on your mental, can, trying to confuse you, trying to install fear in you, project onto you, gaslight you, make you question your intuition. The moon card. A lot of secrets here, deception. Yeah, the strength card. Somebody's a coward with Leo energy in reverse. Yeah, somebody wanted you to be insecure. Somebody could have tried to make you feel like you had to compete or yeah, somebody yeah, somebody want yeah, you could have had kids with this person or 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 this could be Ten of Cups is like a blended family. So that, you know, that could have been something. Yeah, somebody's very somebody hit their insecurities really well is also. I'm also getting somebody has no no type of like willpower they're coward they hide behind a false mask they're insecure yeah somebody what's the strength in reverse yeah eight of swords is here this is your energy gemini yeah, but I feel like you're breaking free of something. Somebody here could have kind of had your connect, could have had your mental, your emotions fucked up. But I feel like you're breaking free. You're getting out of this. Somebody doesn't have a hold on you no more, or control over you, or or, or over your mind, or something like that. You're needing, yeah, you're getting out of this. Also, I'm getting Gemini. Also, self sabotage. A lot of you guys, be mindful of any type of self sabotaging energy here that could be holding you guys back out of because of insecure. Be mindful of your insecurities. So some of you guys need to break free from that. Some of you guys need to reshift your subconscious here through affirmations and stick with them. Just choose like three and stick with them. Don't overwhelm yourselves here with that. What's this two of cups? You got four wands in reverse. So somebody, yeah. There's some type of disharmony in the home or in a connection between you and someone. Something is just not coming together. You guys are just not getting along. You're not on the same, you're not on one accord here. Somebody could also be moving, getting a divorce. Somebody could have also had a partnership outside of the relationship that they had with you. They could have, you know, so what's this two of four wands here? Hold on, Gemini. Yeah.
Yeah, somebody could have already been starting something outside of your partnership anyway. This is for wands in reverse. Yeah, Ace of Swords. I feel like there's also some type of clarity here that's coming about. This, this is the Ace of Swords is like a victory, a breakthrough, some type of honesty, communication. I'm also, we got Magician here, Vir, uh, Mercury here, Virgo, Gemini energy. Yeah, somebody was, somebody just couldn't see, somebody just didn't want to see things your way. They could have been working with other people here. There could have been some type of spell work that somebody in your family or this person's family or someone that they had a, a family with at one point could have been doing spell work and it could have somebody yeah this it could have been because for this person's stability that mm, yeah what's this some of you guys are getting some of you guys could be redoing your home or you're getting a new home here okay but i'm getting a yes to something here for some of you guys what's this ace of swords yeah the star card aquarius and it's something about aquarius season so be mindful of that Okay, something about Aquarius season could be significant here. Or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody could be a Venus in Aries. Yeah, I feel like, Gemini, you guys are going to be starting. Yeah, I just feel like you guys are going to be um starting over and something. You're going to be healing. Yeah, you're going to be fine. I feel like by Aquarius season, which is like in a few days or something, you guys are going to be fine, Gemini. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Yeah, you guys are going to be fine here. What's this death card? Yeah, seven of swords. Yeah, you put a... Yeah, it's like somebody... Yeah, somebody's a coward here. Somebody here is just... This night is, yeah. Seven of Swords, yeah, the death card in. I feel like any any attempts of somebody trying to like get over, I feel like it's, they're gonna, somebody's gonna be stopped in their tracks here. What's the Seven of Swords? Something is blocked. This, yeah, six of, six of Wands, they're gonna have no choice but to kind of move forward, move on. The death card talks about something ending, something being over. Somebody could be trying to find a way to ruin or tarnish your reputation here as well. So just be mindful of that. Okay, be mindful of that. All right. Somebody could have, this person could have also been secretly jealous of you as well. Whether a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. What's this? Six of Wands. Something is over with that death card. Something is changing here or transforming. I feel like you're changing. And yeah, this tennis was in reverse. Yeah, Gemini, you're going to be fine. You're getting a victory. You're getting success. You're getting alkalized or alkalized, however you say it, for what you do. People look up to you. People admire you. You're getting a lot of attention here. Yeah, you're letting this. You're letting. You're letting. You're accepting something, and it's gonna help you move on. And also, feel like it's it's bothering somebody how accepting you are of something. But you're getting a clean slate. You guys could also be moving, and I feel like as you guys move, uh, some of you guys could be moving in with your person. This person could propose that to you, okay? Or somebody's moving in with someone. There's a yeah. You guys could be living together, or you're going to be for some of you guys. And for others of you, you guys could be redoing your home, getting what if you're getting a new home or just redoing your home here. I feel like by the time this person tries to pop up on you at some point or whatever, you're not even gonna be at that at the same residence. But also feel like there's a need for you guys to also move out because something, yeah, I think that, did I get that for Capricorn or Taurus? Something about moving is gonna help you, is gonna help your relationships or your future partnership. Something about where you currently live, the energy is very, it's just, it's stagnant and you, it's time, you need to move. Something about moving is gonna help you guys heal something here. This is cleansing. I'm also getting um, you guys' skin clearing up. I feel like there's something you guys figure out. 
that's going to help you guys feel just more healthy. I'm also getting a lot of you guys, you're figuring out your path. Like something's being more illuminated to you guys. I know the moon is here, but something about this star card, something about a something's going to be uh, something about Aquarius season. All right. It's something, yeah. Cleansing. You got the sun. Yeah. Something's going to be coming out. Sun card is your energy. You're going to be feeling better. You're going to be feeling good. You're going to be feeling more uh, revived. There's a lot of vitality. You're going to be feeling more youthful, vibrant. Okay. We got the full card, Aquarius energy. Something is changing here. Yeah. What's this cleansing? Some of you guys need to remove any, any old items that you have. Remove them. Any items of a person's, remove them. Don't keep them. Cleansing. What's cleansing here? So you guys need to meditate more. You could have Leo highly aspected in your chart. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus energy. Taurus, somebody here could be a Taurus or Aries cusp. Getting April Taurus-ish. Yeah. Somebody could be like financially cursed. Or somebody could have been trying to put that for you. But that's not your path though. What's this cleansing? Yeah, two of pentacles, yeah. Something about somebody's finances is going to be illuminated. Or something about somebody's stability. Somebody here could have been very insecure, like I said, very superficial, vain, money hungry, greedy, stingy. Somebody here could also scam as well. I'm also, like, you just got to get that energy away from you. I'm also, yeah, two of pentacles here. A lot of you guys need to do something in regards to your routine. Some of you guys need a some of you guys are trying to do two. Some of you guys are doing two things at once, and you're gonna have to choose one of these things or one of these people, whatever you want to call it, is not is not really doing it. It's not really doing it for you. Whether it's financial or emotional, or whatever. Plant what's planting here. I'm also getting a lot of you guys need a a lot of you guys could be um at uh, uh adding a new wardrobe. So you're gonna have to get rid of your a lot of your old clothes and start over. You're being told to do that. What's this cleansing? I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to balance out. Yeah, Ten of Cups. You guys could have had kids with this person. Or this person may have kids. Yeah, this person wasn't faithful or loyal anyway, to be honest. Yeah, what's this? What's the sun card? Somebody was disloyal to permit, yeah. What's the sun? I thought you guys are going to be feeling free and happy again, though, Gemini, especially as you clear out your space and your energy. And you remove any type of negativity from around you. You're going to be feeling much better. You're going to feel more balanced. Your finances are going to get more balanced. You have the temperance here. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, you're just going to feel... Yeah, you're going to be on your right path. Or you're going to be... Well, you're already on the right path. And I feel like that's going to be also illuminated to you as well. That the path that you're on is the right path. That you're The path that you're supposed to be on. Some of you guys can have Sagittarius in your chart. You could be a Sagittarius Gemini placement. What's the temperance? Yeah. Something about balance here. Temperance. Divine timing. Yeah, you guys are going to be cleansed. Yeah, four of cups. So I do see a reconciliation here, but this may... But I, I don't think you guys are going to want this. You're going to have to weigh your options for some of you. are going to have to weigh the pros and cons. Like before you before you decide to take somebody back or... I feel like you guys already know better, but... Four of Cups is feeling emotionally discontent, withdrawn, apathetic, not interested, over it. Somebody could be... You could be ignoring this person. They could have ignored you or made you feel ignored. 
or they are somebody could be leaving some money on scene and on red here somebody could have felt emotionally just dissatisfied in something also if somebody chose a third party over you someone else whether it's an ex or a new person in time probably by the summer they're going to be like what the fuck they're going to be very they're going to be very disinterested in that king of pentacles in reverse or oh, that's going to be you but, but you know yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody here lives beyond their means. Also, some of you guys need to stop. Don't spend. Stop spending your money eating out a lot, or don't. Some somebody here is overspending. So just be mindful of your money. Somebody here could also be like a. a somebody here could have sex for money, or they somebody could have a gambling issue, or they pay for sex or something along that lines. But somebody here is not good with money. They could have lied about their money or something here. Somebody is just not. They, somebody here could be losing a job as well. What's this nine of pentacles in reverse? Somebody's very vain, superficial. They try to keep up with the Joneses. It's nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Yeah, Knight of Swords is here. Somebody's very impulsive. They can be reckless. Somebody here is reckless with their money. But I, whoever, but I, you know, and if this is you, Gemini, I do see you guys coming out of the cold with you guys. I do see you guys recovering from that. So any financial issues you're having, I do see you guys recovering. Okay. If you guys haven't been feeling well, also I do see you, all you guys need is more rest. Okay. What's this Knight of Swords here in reverse? Somebody could be on the. Taurus, yeah, that's Taurus, Gemini, Cups. We have five of Cups. Somebody's in regret. Somebody could have been in regret for not committing, for being disloyal, or for something here. I'm just getting a lot of, yeah, something about those three Cups. Because we got the three Cups here. It's the three to the four to the five. Whatever. Somebody, if they whether they listen to their friends. Somebody could have listened to an ex. Somebody could have listened to their baby mother, their mother, their sister, or a friend, or somebody that they know. A woman, a feminine energy. And they listen to that person about you. That person could have been fucking lying or just giving this person just terrible information. This person could have been giving this person terrible information, bad advice on you. And now this person is in regret because of that. They're going to be in regret because of that. Yeah, somebody's going to be... They're going to go with it like, yeah, okay. Then it's like, hmm, actually, it's just like, what the fuck? And then it's like, damn, I, somebody's going to be in very deep regret. It's not going to be you. Somebody's in regret for impulsively doing or saying something. Somebody could have did something because of money or stability. What's this two of pentacles here? Somebody here is just too obsessed with material stuff and money. Somebody could also be financially cursed. Yeah, this uh, this world card in reverse. No fuck. Huh. Come here. Hold on. With this Saturn energy, some of you guys could be in your Saturn return here. We got Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. I feel like there's a repeated. I feel like something. Some. I feel like something may not. There could be some unfinished business here. But I'm also getting. It's like you guys are gonna have to decide. Do you want to close out that cycle or go into a new cycle? Do you want to repeat the same patterns and bullshit with this person with relationships, or do you want to go into a new cycle? You guys are gonna have a choice to make here. All right. What's this world card in reverse? Yeah, two of wands. There's also a, somebody, something could be, yeah, there's also like a two, so you could be seeing two, 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 or six. Yeah, two of wands is kind of at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to go, not, not knowing, not really knowing what to choose, what to do. There could be a, a, a failed strategy. So if somebody tried to plan something, whether this is online or social media, if something is failed, it's not coming together. It's, 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 it's not happening. Somebody could, yeah, somebody could also be at a stalemate. They don't really know what to do, what to decide. Here, what's this too long? You're going to have to make a decision. Yeah, this could be about if somebody could have made a poor choice and went with a third party. Somebody's going to be repeating another lesson here. Two of wands in reverse. 
Yeah, somebody's going to be stressed out, burnt out, and a slave to someone. Again, yeah, three of pentacles yet again. This could be somebody that they work with or, yeah, this could just be another a third factor here. Some of you guys may also need to get help in making a decision. Professional help, not your, your friends or your family, like professional help. Like from a, a professional, an expert. Somebody, you may need to get somebody's expertise here. Somebody also may feel like, some, some of you guys may feel like you don't have many decisions. You only have two options, but you have more decisions than you, than you, than you, than you make or something like that. Decisions are what you make it. But some of you guys, this could be in regards to work. Some of you guys may be not sure and not knowing. You could be turning down a job offer because it may require you to move or travel here, okay, for some of you guys. People could be talking on the phone and gossiping about whatever you do for work here as well. If you have a platform online, what's the Ten of Cups? There could be a repeat, of, a repeat of a lesson here if you're not careful, Gemini, or a repeat of a cycle. And those cycles last seven, ten years. Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody's burdened by a family dynamic here. They're stressed out. Somebody could also be moving. Somebody could be moving in. Somebody could be moving back in. Somebody's moving. Something about a move. Moving into somebody's home or out or something. There's a move here. What's the Ten of Wands here in reverse? Yeah, the hangman's. Yeah, somebody's just not. Yeah, somebody's not. Somebody's repeating a lesson. Repeating patterns. Not Somebody's also not surrendering, not letting something go. Somebody could be stuck in a toxic family dynamic with somebody that they have kids with. Whether they're, whether they're together or not, this person doesn't know how to get. This person has themselves caught up with this person in some capacity. This could be energetically. Yeah, the food card. Or somebody here could be trying to break free from... Somebody could also be breaking free out of this family dynamic here. Somebody could be getting a divorce as well. Yeah, somebody could be getting a divorce here. What's this hangman in reverse? But somebody doesn't know how to surrender and let go. Yeah, seven of cups. There's a lot of... Somebody could have been a gaslighter. Somebody could have been... Something could have been all smoke and mirrors. A lot of confusion. There's a choice here that needs to be. Yeah, the lovers in reverse. Somebody could have made a bad choice, and they did this out of. They did this out of. From a somebody here is broken. They're a broken person, and they and they, they treated you or made decisions from a broken place, or they did things from a broken place. This person could have, just yeah. This person is childish. Could be dealing with the fire sign or somebody that acts like it at least. Yeah, but you do have a choice to make, Gemini. Choose wisely here, okay? Hold on, Gemini. Sorry for the interruptions. I always get interruptions in, during you guys' readings. I always get interruptions with you. I feel like you, that's, yeah, you guys deal with a lot of distractions, Gemini's. Yeah, somebody's caught up in some type of fantasy, some type of uh, delusion. Somebody's very delusional. Somebody refuses to shift their perspective to somebody is just, what's this gossip? Yeah, the Empress in reverse. This could be somebody's mother, a baby mother that's jealous of you, or some, or somebody could have tried to say that was you. But Taurus, Libra energy with this Empress in reverse. There's a distorted feminine energy here. Or this could be you guys not really tapped into your feminine energy. Because I did see the Emperor upright. So some of you guys could be in your masculine energy. You could have been with somebody that didn't really allow you to be in this Empress energy because they didn't give you nothing. So you always had to do. So it didn't really allow you guys to be in that feminine energy, in that feminine space for some of you guys. Also, you got some people around you that could be talking shit too. What's this? What's this gossip? This person could be gossiping about you to their baby mother or their friends or their somebody's baby mother is gossiping about you or somebody's mother, whatever. But somebody here... Yeah, the devil, Capricorn energy. 
somebody's a distorted feminine energy here i don't think this is you i think this is somebody else somebody's very toxic here yeah somebody's very there yes competitive You just, but I feel like you kind of, you're not wasting, you see, you saw something was a waste of your fucking time. I feel like you guys are focused on your work, your craft. Yeah, you're leaving something behind. I don't know. I trust this gossip. Somebody's very petty, though. Very, very vindictive, petty, spiteful. They're a liar. They're childish. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This could be. Yeah. Somebody could be in debt really bad. Nothing is growing for them. Nothing. Somebody could be in debt really bad here. Somebody could be filing for bankruptcy as well. People, yeah, what's this gossip? Yeah, I feel like this person talks shit about you. Not a once, but if they're, this person is broken there and they're hurt. That's what this really is. They're hurt. Meanwhile, they were disloyal or they weren't fucking really doing or giving you shit, but they're mad. Because you're, you're walking away and you're just going about your business. What's the Seven of Cups real quick again? What's the Seven of Cups? Yeah, you're going to have to listen to your intuition here about a choice, Gemini. Really listen to your inner voice. Also, a lot of you guys have a lot of options here in regards to love. Gemini, for a lot of you guys, you may not see this, but you're going to have a lot of options in love. So just be mindful here. You got a lot of people that are looking at you, talking to you complimenting you this could be on social media okay what's this empress hand reverse like you're getting you're getting or you're going to be getting a lot of attention that you may not be used to the tower here in reverse yeah i feel like somebody's trying to avoid something that's going to happen anyway with this something is inevitable what's this tower in reverse yeah, the hero fawn. This could be about this marriage, this somebody's belief system. Somebody doesn't want to dismantle like some type of beliefs that they have. You can you and this person may share different morals, or this person could be more traditional, you're more spiritual, but something here just isn't a match for you and this person. For some of you guys. You guys could be of different ethnicities or backgrounds or religious something about your religious factors here could be different, or your morals and your you know, your beliefs. Harold Fine is Taurus and a lot of you guys could be uh, spiritual leaders, gurus here, teachers. You guys can have your own business that you're very happy in and makes you, you know, you're very content. But also you may be, it may be coming, it may something could become becoming complacent. So it's time to kind of, it's time to do something new here. But you guys could be getting in the own way of your manifestations here. You guys aren't listening to your intuition here in regards to something creative. I'm also getting a need to forgive people. You may have to forgive up to like five different people, child. You got a lot of people that want your forgiveness, Gemini, or they could have did you wrong here. Now they want your forgiveness. What's this? What's this here? Yeah, you're, somebody's moving away from a marriage or some type of contract here. Yeah, you guys are being told to move away from something, a commitment or something like that. There's going to be there's going to be a solution to something here. This could be government here. Yeah, people I just yeah. Mm. Yeah, Gemini, I feel like you're not even paying people any mind. What's this double here? People, this is gossip here. This is double. Yeah, Ace of Cups. I feel like somebody's very much head over heels in love with you and very passionate and turned on by you, Gemini. Yeah, this person is very much obsessed. I don't think it's in a bad way, though. It's weird because this person could be in love with you. This could be... Oh, hold on, y'all. Oh, Lord. That girl can reach for every fucking thing now. Um, I don't think it's a bad, but I, I do feel like this person, whoever this person talks shit about you to, that uh, that other person knows that this person is really just in love with you. Okay, Ace of Cups. Some of you guys got new love coming in here. 
could be with a Capricorn. I don't know why y'all always attract Capricorns. The lovers in reverse. It could be another Gemini. But this is a very, this is a very like karmic. This is a, I don't, mm, I don't know, Gemini. You may also have like a friend of the same sex who talks shit about you, but they're really in love with you. This person could be bisexual or they could be gay. This person's really in love with you. They talk a lot of shit about you, but they're really, they fucking think about you all the fucking time. The lovers in reverse. People could be gossiping about your sexuality and shit like that. We got the eight of cups. Yeah, I do see somebody that, somebody could have made a wrong decision and started, and they could have went towards something new, but now they want to come back here because for whatever fucking reason. But I feel like somebody here, even if they do try to move on, there's somebody stuck on you, Gemini. While you're free, un yeah. Yeah, somebody's emotionally stuck in the past or just emotionally just doesn't know how to move forward. Somebody also uses like substances, alcohol, sex, drugs, other people to kind of as a form of escapism. But all they talk about is you. Is is really weird. This person is emotionally stuck on you. They're like head over heels in love with you actually. Obsessed. But whatever. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Page of Wands. Somebody could have had a child outside of a marriage or a relationship. Somebody could be also looking for a new home as well. What's this Page of Wands? But there's good news coming about an inheritance, a home, or something like that, or something in regards to money. All right, debt. There's going to be good news here. What's this Page of Wands? You guys need to just keep a positive outlook and positive attitude. Yeah, somebody is one. Yeah, somebody, the pages, yeah, somebody could be fighting, somebody could be gaining some type of information, some insight, somebody here could also be something about family and like children, so be, watch your, keep an eye on your child here, especially around certain family members or people outside the family or whatever, especially around like a mother figure or something. It's a lot of gossip, Gemini. What this could be people in your family gossiping about you. What's this page of swords here? Somebody's watching you. All right, what's this? Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. In reverse. Something was a waste of fucking time. Something was a waste of time. Yeah, I'm getting impatience here. I'm with this. Something, yeah, some some yeah, something was a waste of time, a waste of money. Somebody could have been stalling on giving you something as well. What's this seven of pentacles? Yeah, what's this seven of yeah, nine of wands. So I feel like somebody's going to be rushing in, Gemini. I feel like somebody's not going to waste no time. And they're going to want to rush. If you already have a child with this person, this person, yeah, ace of wands. This person could be dead. Somebody here, if you already have a child with this person, this person's not going to commit to you. You probably weren't even committed or with this person when y'all made when y'all had a child in the first place. Or they weren't committed, whatever. But this person's going to want to come in and... Don't end up, don't have another child with this person. If you have one child with this person, don't have a second. If you have two, don't have a third, okay? If, if you already have a child with this person, don't have no more kids with them. Whether if you have one, two, or three, don't have no more kids with this person. They're coming in just for that, and then they're just going to ghost you and go about their business again. Yeah, it's just don't. Somebody's very insincere. They're a player. They don't, don't do it again, please. Nine of Wands. This person could be in debt really bad. Yeah, six of pentacles. This person doesn't want to, yeah, this could be child support. This person, yeah, this person, they don't want to be put on child support. They don't want to give you something here. I'm also getting somebody, again, something was somebody didn't reciprocate with you. You were very generous with somebody. Somebody could have abused your generosity here. Or somebody here is used to people using them. And 
Yeah, what's the six though? Somebody here could have somebody doesn't know how to give and receive freely. This could be you or someone you're dealing with. Yeah, ace of wands though. So, yeah. Yeah, what's this? Six of pentacles in my first. Somebody want yeah, King of Cups. Yeah, I, I feel like there were feelings here, but somebody wasn't really ex expressive about their feelings. They didn't want to show too much or do too much because they could have been used in the past by a person or by people. But somebody here also abuses their position of um, power here because they're broken. Somebody's broken. Somebody holds on to a lot of pain that they can't move past. King of Cups. Yeah, they try to act like everything's okay, but it's not. King of Cups. This person is really trying to act like they're cool, calm, and collected, but they're really a broken person. They love you, but they're broken. Yeah, justice. Could be um, somebody that's a, a Libra, Scorpio, Libra, cusp. You're getting justice for something here, Gemini. Something's going to be, something's, there's karmic justice that, you're, that you guys are getting here. All right, with this, with this justice card here. What's the justice here? Yeah, the magician. Virgo, Gemini, energy here. And we got nine. I feel like you're getting what you want, Gemini. Regardless of however this spins. What's this? Yeah, you're getting, you've manifested something, Gemini. Or you're, you're getting something. We got Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. And that Ace of Wands is going to come out before this King of Cups. So you got all the Aces here. And this is your karmic justice. You're getting newness and everything. You, you, you got all the aces on the table here. You're going to be fine, regardless, Gemini. What's this three of pentacles? Yeah, you're going to have to stand your ground in something. This could be in regards to a work situation. You're going to have to set boundaries with somebody. Some of you guys could be getting a new car here or... Yeah, I feel like you know where you're heading in life. You know where you're going. You know how you want to get there. You know what you need to do. You guys have a lot. You're increasing your willpower, your drive, your determination. This is triumph over troubles. Okay, you're going to be moving past something fairly quickly. Yeah, I, I just feel like something. There's, there's a blockage here. And this could be something that you guys are energetically holding on to as well, though. Yeah, stand, stand your ground, Gemini, in regards to something. Stand your ground here. Stand your ground with something. What's this uh, Three of Cups? What's this Three of Cups real quick? Let's go back to this. Somebody thought the grass was green on the other side. Three of Cups. Yeah, judgment. Yeah, second chance. So some of you guys, this could be you reconciling with somebody, but I feel like this person is just non-committal. They're just, they're, they're very, they can have a lot of emotional outbursts. They have a lot of anxiety. They're, they, they're losing sleep. I, I, I feel like they don't really, they may feel like they don't have enough to offer you or enough to give. And that could be why they just don't really do much or anything because... What they want to do may not, they may not feel like, or what they want to give, they may not feel like it's enough. But we got the nine of this person is disloyal. They don't finish what they start. They're stuck, they're stagnant, they're complacent. Also, some of you guys, you're, you're trying to stay in a safe zone is what's blocking you, okay? There can be, a, I feel like there's just a third factor that's blocking something here. That's trying to, yeah. Anyways, you may need to get a professional insight or advice for something here. Yeah, somebody's just greedy, selfish, and they're arrogant. Somebody could be having fertility issues as well. But anyways, yeah, this person is disloyal. They're promiscuous. They're a cheater. So just be careful if you want to go back that. They're always going to have third parties in some regard. Yeah, 
this could be something about an older man here. I just feel like somebody tried, some, somebody came in between you and someone or something, whether it's a job or, or, or I don't know, or somebody, is, somebody wanted to or they tried to. But anyways, we got claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. So be careful with taking risks, especially in finances, Gemini. Like, yeah, because you may be or with the person. Because just be careful. We got money path. Eight path of money is waiting for you to find it. So a lot of you guys have some new ideas or you need to take a break so you can brainstorm. We got bird flying. News is on the way. So expect communication from someone or something or institution or whatever we got broken wish wish will not be granted so yeah this person is not going to give you what you want gemini they just this person is a story they're childish they're stuck and stagnant in their lives and they're they're non-committal they're disloyal it's just not going to work wedge someone is trying to come in between you and a friend or something you want so somebody here somebody here could in order to get back at you or or whatever they could be trying to get in but they, they could be trying to get between you and a friend or this is a friend doing this You're going to have to really decide if you want to give this person a second chance. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. So you do have new things that are opening up for you, Gemini, even if it doesn't feel that way. We got basket, recognition, reward for merit. So you guys are going to be getting recognized for something that you do here. You're going to have to defend your position because you worked hard for your title. You worked hard for something. All right, we got jug, lighthearted, and carefree time. A lot of you guys are going to be having a lot of good time. Some of you guys could be going on dates this upcoming weekend, coming up. Specifically, I'm hearing Friday. We got older man dealings or relationship with an older man here. So something about an older man could be significant. We got horse, a short journey. So some of you guys could be taking a short trip or somebody could be going away for a short period of time, especially if they scam. We have caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So some, Gemini, something is changing. Believe it or not, that and it, it may not seem like it is, but it is. Something is going to be changing for you, Gemini. There's going to be a lot of changes here, actually. There's a conversation. There's a conversation, and yeah, there's a talk that needs to be had between you and someone, or maybe with yourself. But things, are, yeah, things are going to change, Gemini, for the better. Things are going to change for the better, and it's going to help you move forward. All right, so Gemini, this was your reading. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Yeah, and also with this judgment card, Gemini, I'm getting a need to forgive. There could be a friend that wants your forgiveness, or somebody's getting bad karma for something, too, for hurting you or whatever. But, um, yeah, look, a butterfly, a change for the better. And we got protection from a powerful friend. And then we have you are highly thought of. And we have chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. So somebody could be leaving your life, but it's going to bring in something or someone better. Let this person walk away. Um, Gemini, you, you got, you know, yeah, let this, yeah, let whatever fall away, fall away. What's going to happen anyway? Because this person, you guys don't have the same morals or ethics. This person is just not on your level. They're in very low. They, they are tied to a lot of karmic debt, financial debt. Uh, curses, even family curses that they need to figure out how to fucking get away from. Uh, this person could be also getting into legal trouble. Oh, yeah. Somebody could have been abusing your, really taking your kindness for weakness here. But anyway, you stood up to this person and you took your power back, Gemini. So anyways, congratulations and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.